Hey guys, if you ever wanted to play your DOS games or Windows 95 games on a big screen, and when I mean a big screen, I mean something that has HDMI input. Well, today I was just playing around. I've always been complaining about this old KTX monitor saying that the screen's a little bit soft. So I actually took my main screen TV out of the front room, just moved the camera around, and I put it on top my computer there. Oh, it's just gone to screensaver. I put this massive 32 inch TV on top of my computer <laughs> and I'm actually putting Duke Nukem 3D through it. And it works quite well. There is a little bit of lag, but it's something that is playable. You could probably get used to it. The way that I use this is I use this little VGA to HDMI converter. It is an upscaler and it's actually this Soul Manta device which I bought a while back to help capture footage off my computer. I use it in conjunction with a Elgato Game Capture HD. But I thought I'd just set it up today just to see what it actually looks like when I put it onto the big screen. So I wanted to see what DOS games look like, what Windows 95 looks like. You can see it upscales it and it also stretches it out. So that's um, one negative of it. But it is quite cool to have Windows 95 on such a big screen. Let me just bring it, angle it back around so you can see both here. What else is cool is because it's now playing through the speakers of the TV, so I'm not using computer speakers. I can play some of the MIDI files, for example, that came with Windows 95. Let's listen to this. Canyon.mid playing through the Sound Blaster 16. Doesn't sound too bad, does it? Through the TV speakers. Let's try some other DOS games. So here I've put on Indiana Jones, but it's not configured with sound, so, <laughs> so there's nothing coming through. But you can see that it actually looks quite good on the screen. It does stretch it. It's probably a little bit too bright there. You can see on the monitor here, it's a little bit darker. A little bit more contrast maybe. But it's not too bad, right? Like if you wanted to play DOS games on big screen TV in your front room, then you could use this device. And I think with like point and clicks, because it's not so dependent on reflexes, then that little bit of lag that you do have um, isn't too bad. You could live with it. Now I'm going to restart the computer so that you can see that it even captures the startup. There's picking up the graphics card. It's doing a pretty good job of detecting the this startup screen. A lot of other HDMI scalers, I believe from what my research had, actually struggles with these strange DOS resolutions, but this one picks it up and is able to output it quite well. You can see there though how much the stretch of the screen does affect it. Thought that might be of interest to you, just in case you ever wanted to use an old computer on a big screen TV. I guess you could put it on an ultra 4K uh, HT TV, but um, I think at that point it'd be really pixelated. Anyway, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you got any comments? Put them down below. Just a video for fun. Catch you later. Bye.